Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all super well. For those who don't know me, hi guys, I am Sophie Hanna and yeah, please click that subscribe button if you are new here. So I'm starting off my video with wet hair today because we are reviewing the Dyson Airwrap. Guys, it is a huge game changer. I mean, I know I'm probably late to the game, but I have kind of been contemplating buying it for a while, but I knew it was expensive. And also I just haven't really seen anybody use it with short hair. And yeah, I just kind of, I just kind of left it. I, you know, I've been really used to using my straighteners when styling my hair and just blow dry my hair normally. Robin actually bought the Dyson hair dryer. God, about a year ago now and it is amazing I love it so I think because I already had that making the big purchase of the Dyson air app was a little bit easier um I know the price point is high but oh my god guys I'm going to show you that it is worth the money um well personally I think it's worth the money I literally don't actually need to use any other styling tool like heated styling tool because it literally does everything that I want it to do for my hair. So yeah, really excited to show this to you guys because I've been posting little snippets of my hair on my Instagram stories and my Instagram and I actually posted a video of me using the Dyson Air app, just curling my hair and honestly it just, it just transforms my hair. Like my hair is thin, it, it's short, like it's straight, it's got no volume, like it dries pretty much like this. So yeah, it's not really the best. Uh, but honestly, the Dyson Air App has completely changed up my hair routine and I've had so many compliments and messages about my hair since I've started using it. So it is obviously great. So starting off, I tried to get my hands on the Dyson Air App and I literally could not find it anywhere. It was sold out. I actually think they have just recently restocked it on their website. So I will pop a link below. However, I highly recommend if you have short hair or a specific hair type or texture, then I highly recommend doing what I did. So I actually went on their website and I had a little bit of a mooch about and they've actually got a kind of questionnaire where you can customize your own Dyson air wrap, which I think is amazing. So you literally put in your hair length, your hair texture, your hair type, and it customizes a whole Dyson air wrap kit for you. So I'm gonna show you the one that I got and it's literally perfect for my hair. I 100% recommend doing that because it means that your Dyson Air App is perfect for you and you know, you're spending the money, you wanna know that it's great for you. I'm so glad I, I did that and I didn't purchase the normal kind of Dyson Air Wrap styler that you can get. There is one you can get for long hair, but yeah, I'm glad I didn't purchase just the normal one because the heads are completely different and I'm so glad I've got the ones that I've got. So let me show you. So this is the Dyson Air Wrap handle. I actually love the fact that it's got the rotating cable so you're not gonna get all tangled. And I love the fact that it's so long because you don't actually have to really raise your arm up. Like you, I literally just sit there like this with my arm kind of by my side and bent and I can do my hair. I'm not having to raise my arm up. I actually had a message about this because somebody had, is it fibromyalgia? And that's how you say it. And they just said like their arm aches and they really struggle lifting their arm up high. And actually, I find it really comfortable to use. So that's actually quite a good thing to point out. It is comfy. I don't have to raise my arm up much at all. I can literally kind of just move my hand like on my arm around like that, which you will see when I eventually do my hair. Sorry, guys. But yeah, so you pop the heads in the top bit. They're really easy to pop in. And also it's got... A little lock here on the back where you can push it down and get the heads out and th on the front we've got the on and off switch we've got three different heat settings which is great and we've also got three different um, air settings so you've got like low medium to high and that's just like the strength of the air and how much it kind of sucks your hair in to the barrels which I'm gonna show you so comes in this beautiful leather I don't know if it's leather actually, it might be fake leather, but it comes in this beautiful case, which is this here. So I'm going to open it up and show you. It's nice on the inside, it's like velvet, so like luxurious. 
So you are getting your money's worth when you get a really beautiful box and, you know, to keep it all in. So first one, I've got the brush. So this is great for doing your curtains at the front, for kind of brushing your hair through, maybe doing a bit of volume on the end. Love that. Then we've got these. So you might be wondering if you've not seen the Dyson Air App and you're new to it, why there's two. So the Dyson Air App, I thought it spun. Like I thought these like spinned basically, but they don't. It's the direction of the airflow. So there's little slits in these barrels and the arrows basically tell you which direction the air is going to be going. And this is kind of the direction of the air is... It, that's how your hair gets sucked around and wrapped around the barrel. Doesn't tangle at all. So surprised about that. So you don't have to be like super careful with making sections in your hair. Sometimes I just zhuzh up my hair quickly and I just, it's quite messy, but it doesn't tangle or anything. And yeah, so you get two. So that is the only downside is you have to alternate the heads um, when you're using the Dyson Air app. But actually, I don't really mind it. It's not too bad. So yeah, so the first one I've got are these two. So I will pop below exactly what millimetres each head like barrel is. But as you can see, this one is quite long and thin, so you're going to get a really tight curl. Then we've got this size. So a nice little kind of size. These create really beautiful kind of loose curls. Um, yeah, really like that because this is a great size for short hair. Next up, we've got this size. So slightly bigger than the last one. Let me just show you. So slightly bigger. So this is going to give you a bit of a larger kind of looser curl but again it's still great for getting short hair around those barrels so i'm just going to show you the difference in the three kind of curling barrels that i've got so these are the three sort of curling barrels that i've got and as you can see you can see the size difference there so you can already see i can create three different looks with the three different kind of curls or waves that i can create then the last two heads i've got a brush so that's just going to blow dry your hair super sleek and straight and then we've also got the blow drying tool head. So this is just gonna blow dry your hair. So basically you don't wanna do the Dyson Air Up when your hair is completely like soaking wet. You want it so it's kind of like mid. So slightly damp, slightly starting to dry. And this is the hair dryer. So you could just use that first to quickly just kind of blow dry your hair a little bit. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of the curling barrels just to show you the difference in the waves that you can achieve and also how I like to use them as well because I like to curl my hair but I also love to flick my hair out at the end so keep it super sleek and straight and flick my hair up at the end and the barrels work for that as well because I've been loving that hairstyle lately and it does it so so well so much better than when I used my curling tongs or my hair straighteners um, yeah, and also something else that I want to mention is the fact that this is making less damage on your hair. This is causing less damage, less breakage, which I'm all about that life. You guys know I love to protect my hair. I'm always using so many products, like I'm looking for the latest styling tongs and things like that. So this is great because it means that now I can cut out applying like a ceramic straightener or like pure heat on my hair. I'm applying... The Dyson Air app, which you can change the heat settings, which is great. And you don't need to leave it on your hair for that long. And also, you know, I always blow, my, blow dry my hair first anyway. So it's cutting out that second lot of heat that I'm putting on my hair. So it's amazing. Honestly, I love it so much. And yeah, let's get styling my hair. So going in with the hair dry section, and all you do is push it in like so, and then turn it on. So obviously I'm not going to be able to talk over the top of me styling my hair because it's super loud. I will show you how loud it is. So that's the lowest setting. Mid. High. So yeah, you might not be able to hear me now so I'm going to put some music over it. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? No one can save us. Save us from keeping clean. Okay, that'll do. So then to get the head out, we push down the little lock button at the back and lift it off. Comes off super easily. So now I'm going to section my hair and then I'll show you the different curls that you can do and then I will fully 
style my hair using one of the barrels just to show you the full effect of what it can do. Okay, so I'm going to show you the large barrel to start with. Let's put that on. Now I need to figure out which way that goes. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I'm going to have to put music over this, but basically all you do is you grab a section of hair. I'm going to put it on the quietest setting so you guys can still hear me. And then you turn it on, and if, when you let go, your hair just gets sucked around it. And I like to kind of go in and out, hold it in there, and you can stay and hold it like that. And then when you let go, as you can see, I've got a really beautiful, loose curl. And yeah, it basically just blow dries your hair whilst styling it. So it depends how tight you want it. You might want to leave it on there for a bit longer. But sometimes I like to re-go over bits and I will just kind of go in and out like this to kind of blow dry the whole section of hair. Then I hold it at the top, let go. Yeah, so bouncy. So that is the first kind of wave that you can get with this larger barrel. Let me show you the mid size. So yeah, as I said, I'll pop all the sizes on the screen and below because I don't really know them off the top of my head. So let's try this section at the back. Also, I do prefer using it with the with the fan on the highest setting because I feel like it sucks the hair in a bit more. But obviously, because I want to talk over this to show you, I'm having to use it on the lowest setting. So I go back and forth, kind of blow drying. And then when I'm happy with that, I hold it there. And let go. But sometimes I might need to redo some bits. I'm actually going to turn this on the highest setting. So bear with. Hey, I just want to see you on my new grave before you turn. So as you guys can see, look how bouncy that curl is. And it's just a little bit tighter. Like this one at the front, it's already kind of slacked a little bit. But to be fair, I didn't leave it on for that long. Let me redo that bit and I'll put it on the highest air setting. Hey, I just want to see you on my new grave. So there we go. So that thicker barrel just kind of gives my hair a little bit of a flick. But if you imagine if you did a lot of that going around your whole hair, maybe you've got layers, it's just going to give you a really nice kind of flicky, volumized look. And this one's going to give you more of a curl. Let me show you the tight curl now. So I'm taking this little section at the back. And as you can see, look how tighter that curl is. And you can brush them out as well, like, yeah. So as you can see already, I could create three completely different looks with my hair using one of the barrels all over my hair. Also, a little tip that someone gave me, which I think is great, which I'm going to share with you all, a little hair hack, um, is that on the power setting, you can push it up and it cools it. So what you want to do is when you're doing your curl, it's obviously on hot. And then when you're about to take your curl, like take this away from your curl, push that button up to cold and it cools down your curl before you pull it away and it just keeps it in place um, a great little tip there and yeah definitely think that, that it works doing that so yeah highly recommending that tip but yeah as you can see these are the kind of the different curls that that I can get which is great so let me show you how to do my hair flick if you guys are wondering I take my medium sized barrel that I've got for that and is that the right side yeah so then all I do for my hair flick is I want to hold the Dyson Air up that way and I kind of go up and down. Yeah. 
And it gives me that flick. That is honestly one of my favorite things. It's so easy to do and look how insane that flick is. So yeah, that's kind of another way I've been using the Dyson Air app. It's just kind of going up and down like that and trying to keep my hand um, horizontal. And then yeah, it creates that beautiful flick. And if you do that around your whole hair, half up do, looks amazing. So yeah, they're basically all of the heads and how you use them. And um, yeah, I mean, I can show you the brush, but the brushes, I mean, another way I like to use the brush is sometimes for these flicks. And I can brush it down like this. So that's quite good if you've got next day hair and you just want to zhuzh up your hair flick because the brush is actually really great at gripping that hair in place. You can also do really great bouncy blow dries with the brush as well if that's kind of your preferred look. Um, and then, yeah, as I said, this brush just makes it straight. So, yeah, I'm going to now style my hair properly and I think I'm going to use the medium one to show you guys how it changes and transforms my hair. And I'll also show you guys how I do my front bits as well because I've got a little tip for you guys with that. I'm gonna pretty much do my whole head and then I'll get back to you and chat with the front bits. Okay guys, so, so much volume already. Cannot wait to like zhuzh it up and run my fingers through it. But, so I'm onto the front sections now. So I just wanna show you guys how I achieve that kind of curtain kind of front style to your bangs. If you've got any, um, or even if you've got like long pieces at the front, like I'm gonna just show you how to achieve that kind of nice wave. Because I have tried to achieve it with straighteners before and GHD, like curlers. And I've never, ever been able to achieve what I'm about to do on my hair with anything else apart from the Dyson Air app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to bring my hand with my hair wrapped around it this way across. Because then it will come like that. I'll show you. voila I'm gonna do it a little bit more but you can already see I'm achieving that kind of wave that is how you do that the only thing is do not wear lip gloss when you do this guys because I wore lip gloss the other day and my hair stuck all on my lips that's the only that's the only downside um, but yeah I'll show you again I'm gonna put the airflow on low guys look at the difference it just really shapes your face and the great thing as well about the Dyson air app is I've got lots of like little bits basically I've got a few little bits of breakage from when I had my fringe before I and mean, I've been braiding and where I've overused heat from trying to do this before 
and yeah, I'm trying to grow it out. It is growing. But basically, the Dyson Air app is so good at getting all those little bits to go in a direction. Because before, these would all stick up and stuff and be super annoying. But yeah, it's so it's so good. So let me show you on this side. Right, so I'm gonna run my fingers through my hair now. This just breaks up the curls and yeah, honestly, like, look how much volume I have. My hair is so soft, it feels insane. Not too tangled. And yeah, I just, I just love how my hair looks after it. Let me show you the back. So that's the back of my hair, guys. And as you can see, I've managed to do the back super easily with the Dyson Air app. So yeah, I just love it, guys. Like, it's easy to use and I don't feel like my arms have hurt. I've got this amazing bouncy curl, but I can achieve so many different styles that I love to do. I just wanted to show you a curl because I feel like this is quite a lot of people's everyday go-to. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you this, like the ease of using it, how amazing my hair looks. And um, yeah, and even just doing the front bits to shape your face just makes so much difference. Um, so let me just show you guys how I kind of finish it off. I always grab a little bit of hairspray to just hold. I've got the Triple Take 32 Extreme High Hold Hairspray from Redken. Love Redken products. So that is just gonna hold my curls in place little bit of the red ken oil for all like to add the tiniest drop over the top of my hair it adds shine and it flattens a few of those flyaways but for a couple of the flyaways that i can never seem to flatten this is a little front bit here i've actually got a little hair hack for you guys use the 24 hour brow setup from benefit we can use it on our brows so why can we not use it on our hair it's literally the same let me show you how amazing it is so i take the brush and literally comb it through any little flyaways that i want to flatten quite a few down my parting and yeah this lasts all day and if you do it very gently it doesn't go like hard or sticky or anything like that um yeah and it just neatens it up a little bit we can add a little bit more hairspray to the ends and yeah we can either leave it like this or we could style it put it in put it in an updo put it in space bonds whatever you want to do pin it to the side put a little hair grip in it like yeah the possibilities are endless but you've got an amazing base to start a hair style with or your hair's looking fab for the rest of the day so frigging good. I just love the fact that you can blow dry your hair and style it at the same time. It decreases the time. It helps with less breakage, less damage. Like honestly guys, I am sold. I am obsessed with the Dyson Air app. I'm so glad I made the purchase. And um, yeah, I'll put all links below for you guys if you want to check it out for yourself. Um, I don't know if they offer any payment packages or anything like that because I know it is expensive but personally I think it's worth saving for because you literally don't need any other heated styling tool. Like, yeah, I've not used anything else since I bought this. I don't even use my Dyson hairdryer anymore, Robin's got that. But yeah, this, this is a game changer guys, I'm obsessed and... Yeah, really hope you enjoyed this video and seeing the Dyson Air up on short hair because I've not actually seen anyone use it on short hair. Kept seeing so many influencers using it on their long hair and I was like, oh my God, my hair looks amazing. But my hair looks amazing too. So yeah, honestly in love and thank you so much for watching this video. I've popped all links below to the Dyson Air app and how to customise it on their website and some of the Red Ken products that I used. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Stay safe, 
And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Peace out.